Hello and welcome to another video of Easy Tutorials. Today in this video you will learn how to make an e-commerce website front-end using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. As you can see on my computer screen, here is the e-commerce website template that I'll create in this tutorial. First we have search box, logo and menu with cart option. Next we have vertical menu on the left side with submenu also that contains list of product category of this e-commerce website. In the right side we have image slider. After this section we have featured category section where you can display three featured product categories. Next we have on sale product section with beautiful title, product image, star rating and price. You can see three buttons on this product image when I will take cursor over this image. After this we have new product widget where I have added 8 products. Next we have website features section where I have added features icon and text. In the next section we have footer with 4 different column and 1 copyright text also. Now I'll click on any product image so it will take us to the product page. Here you can see sliding product image in the left side and product information in the right side with add to cart button also. After this we have product description and some deleted product also. Now I'll click on this logo so it will take us to the home page. Now I'll change the screen size so that you can see this website is fully responsive for all the devices. When you will open this e-commerce website on mobile screen then you can see this menu icon that you can use to open left side menu and you can use this close icon to close this side menu. So you will learn to create this e-commerce website template in this video. Before starting this video, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Now let's start to create this e-commerce website template. This is my project folder and here I have one CSS file and one HTML file. So this is my CSS file and this one is HTML. I have already linked my CSS file with HTML file. Now we need to add the bootstrap link here. For that I'll go to the Google and here we'll search bootstrap. Open this first website, getbootstrap.com, scroll down and from here we'll copy this link. and paste it here and here we can remove these things because it is not required. Now again I will come to this same website and from here there are three more script here that we will copy and again paste it here. Again, I'm going to remove these things. And this script is not required. So simply I will remove this one. That's it. Now I'll come to the body section and here I'll create one div. The class name will be top navbar here I'll create one more div and the class name will be search box and in this search box I'll add one logo for that I am using image tag and my logo name here and after this logo I will add one search box for that I am writing input 
the class name will be form control and after this input box will add one search icon for that i am creating this span and the class name input group text here we will add one icon for that i'll open google and here we will search font awesome cdn so open this first website and from here we will get the cdn link so simply copy this one and come to the html file in the head section Here I'll write this one link rel style sheet href and just paste this URL. Now we will search for the icon. For that we'll go to the font awesome icon website. For that I'll search font awesome icons on Google and open this link. And here we can search any icons. So we need this search icon. So just copy this one and paste it here. Now I'll copy this class name top navbar Now I'll come to the CSS file and here we'll write body a background color and font family Now I'll go to the project folder and I will open this HTML file with Google Chrome. So you can see my logo here and this search box and one search icon. Now I'll put this class name here. And for this one I'll write height, top will be zero and position sticky. background margin bottom border bottom also and z index now i will refresh this page so you can see this border color Now we'll put one class name here for this logo and just come to the CSS file again and here we'll put this logo class height will be 40 pixel and margin now you can see a small logo on this website Now I'll copy this class name form control and for this one we'll write margin top margin left border border top left radius border bottom left radius 
border top right radius will be 0 and border bottom right radius will be 0 and box shadow also I'll put important here now I'll refresh this website so you can see a round border in the left side of this search box now I'll copy this class name input group text background border 1 pixel solid orange margin and again for this one also we need to add border so I'll change it 0 0 and this one 20 pixel 20 pixel cursor will be pointer now I'll copy this search box class name here and for this one I'll write display inline flex width 60% here also we will put important so that you can see this color below this search icon now I'll copy this class name for search icon add it here and we'll write color white now you can see white color for this icon now we'll add three menu on the right side for that I'll create one div the class name will be menu bar then I'll write UL and LI then anchor tag and I'll write text cart and simply duplicate this one then second one I'll write sign up and the third one login now just copy this class name menu bar width 40% and height 57 pixel float right again I will copy this one and here I'll write UL display inline flex float right again this one and after that I'll write li and for this one I'll write border left one pixel solid white list a style type none padding text align background color cursor now I will refresh this one so you can see three menu on the right side now I'll copy this one here and I'll write a tag here for this one the font size will be 16 pixel font weight bold color white text decoration none 
now it's looking very good now we need to add one icon for this card for that i'll search this icon over font awesome website i'll search for basket just i will copy this one and paste it here and i will copy this class name for this icon shopping basket and for this one i'll write margin right 5 pixel we need to correct this one fa dot shopping basket so that you can see this margin after this icon but for now this navigation word is not fully responsive so we will make it responsive for all the device for that here we will write this code at the rate media only screen and max width 980 pixel then i'll write this class name here top navbar height will be 118 pixel border bottom 0 and after that i'll copy this class name search box so it was 60 percent so now we'll make it 100 percent for a small device and again for this one also menu bar this was 40 percent again we will make it 100 percent for a small device now again i'll copy this class name here ul margin will be 10 pixel 0 width 100 percent ul li for this one height will be 57 pixel width 100 percent now i'll refresh this page so that you can see this navigation bar is fully responsive. So in this video you learn to create responsive navigation bar with search box for e-commerce website. I'll create the other part of this e-commerce website in the next video and I will put the link in the description. If this video was helpful for you please click on the like button and see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.